Hello Aries, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecasts for October. Now understandably, all the talk this month is going to be about the arrival of Jupiter in the part of your situation to do with shared resources, to do with getting beneath the surface of situations. In a more practical sense, anything to do with money, business, property, long-term investments. But this is also the area of great commitment and transformation. Now, from the 17th to the 19th, once Mercury moves on the 18th into the sign of Scorpio, and the Sun moves into this area on the 23rd, you're going to get two opportunities. Because across the 17th and 19th, and the 23rd to the 30th, Firstly, Mercury, and then the Sun will merge with Jupiter. So the potential to enrich your life through the power of Jupiter is ramped up even greater with the energy of Mercury and the Sun. When the Sun and Jupiter get together, it really can lead to a, a sense of well-being, a sense of improvement in our situation. We can feel that we can be a bit more risk-taking in a positive way, and of course, your zodiac sign is very much about living in the here and now. So something can emerge across those days which could see some kind of major change in your situation. And it may be that it is by linking closely with someone else that something positive can happen. And of course, relationships are very much covered this month too because the sun and Mercury are moving through your sector of relating, the sign of Libra. There is a full moon, however, in your sign on the 5th, and this is going to be uh, uh, giving you a lot of food for thought about your relationships. From the 5th to the 13th, with the Sun and Mercury close by, it is going to be important not to jump to conclusions around relationships. Actually, Venus and Mars, the planets of relating, are in a very practical location for the first 10 days, which is kind of asking you to keep grounded in your approach. Once Venus moves on the 14th, I think that's really going to help you. It's going to help to just uh, put a little bit more of a harmonizing glaze on any situation you're dealing with. Now, the 19th does see a new moon, but it's a new moon in opposition to Uranus in your zodiac sign, suggesting do stay open-minded about the type of person you could be attracted to or how you can cooperate with different types of people. Being flexible is very, very important. But your ruling planet Mars is in a bit of an obtuse angle with Uranus from the 12th through to the 22nd, which is broadly week three. And I would just say to you during that time, don't be too impetuous around your moves. But as this month goes on, it becomes more and more about delving deeper inside of yourself and in terms of your understanding of life. If you're someone who's interested in uh, self-help books or spirituality or anything to do with the more mystical crafts, such as esoteria, which includes astrology, knowledge or growing your knowledge around these areas is going to be hugely important, not just in the last 10 days of this month, but also during the next 12 months too, when you can really develop a new world view of how you view situations. It's going to be an exciting, potentially very positive month for you, but it is about how you link with others and balance your own individualistic needs. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Aries. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.